I want to show you five object lessons for describing sin to your Sunday school class that you are going to absolutely love because they look like this, 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 don't forget this one, and finally this. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Let me show you this object lesson called a sin-free life. And then I'll show you how it works. This is our heart and it is full of sin. And sin is when we act, think, or do something that is disobeying God. And with a heart full of sin, we are guaranteed to be separated from God forever. So we are powerless against sin, but there is something I want you to see that is absolutely amazing. Through the blood of Jesus, we can have our sin dealt with. His blood can wash away our sin. So if you will ask Jesus to wash away your sin, do you know what will happen? He'll do it. He will wash away your sin and make your heart clean so that you can one day go to heaven. Pretty cool, right? So obviously just a clear vase, a black cloth that will cover the vase, and a laminated piece of paper if you're gonna fill this thing with water. One side's red, one side's black. So when you start it like this, you load it, and when you cover it, watch what happens. While you're talking, you're going to rotate this behind the cloth, right? And then you're gonna show it again, it'll be this side, and then you're gonna, I'll do it the back side. Then when you cover the cloth again, this time when you pull it up, you're gonna pull it out completely and the cloth covers the paper and it's clear. Now, make sure you do this carefully. When the first time you're just flipping this around, make sure you pull the cloth up because the second time you're gonna have to pull the cloth up to get the paper all the way out. So do it the same way both times and it helps the little illusion, if you will, work that much better. So that's called a sin-free life and you can get all the directions you need at the link below. Here's a great way to describe sin and how Jesus takes away our sin to your kids. That's why this is called Jesus Takes Away Our Sin. This is a great object lesson. All right, you're gonna need a couple things. I'm gonna show you those. I'm gonna show you the lesson. And then I'm gonna give you a couple important tips that I learned that will make things go much, much smoother and will save you a lot of trial and error. First, you're gonna need, in no particular order, a candle, I happen to have Blanc de Blancs. How about that? I have a lighter, I have some water, and it has been made black using food coloring. So simply just combining black food coloring and water, and then the other cup I could find, I just need a giant, I don't even need, doesn't even need to be giant, just an empty cup. So here's how it goes. Our hearts are full of sin. But here's the good news, and this is why it's called the gospel. Jesus came into the world, and he was the light of the world. And the light of the world came into the world to take away our sin, something that we cannot do on our own. But when Jesus, the light of the world, came, do you know what happened? Watch. He came to take away our sin. Isn't that cool? All right, when you take the cup back off, obviously it goes back to being a disaster. It's water. Now, here's a couple things that are very important to this object lesson. Number one, you'll notice the size of the plate I have. This is not a large plate and it's on purpose. It's a small plate, just big enough for the candle, which is a decent size. I did not use a votive candle. I used a beefier candle. Is there such thing as a beefy candle? But anyway, candle of decent size, some water, food coloring black, and then the cup. And notice the cup, it almost takes up the entire flat part of the plate. And that's actually kind of important for this object lesson. The candle doesn't have a ton of suction power, so you can't have this massive plate and have this little tiny cup. You're gonna need to work with the proportions of candle to cup to water. But this worked for me, you saw it happen, and it's as simple as it looks. You can use black food coloring and talk about sin. You can also, I've seen it, use red food coloring. And you talk about how Jesus' blood cleanses us from our sin. But either way, I want you to give this a try. It's called Jesus Takes Away Our Sin. 
all right? And let me know how it goes. The details and all the instructions for this object lesson are in the description. You can see the link below. Oh, look at the cool reflection. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Here's an awesome object lesson for teaching kids that God removes our sin. Now, our sin doesn't disappear, but Psalm 103.12 says this, As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. So, you'll need three things. A pot, you'll need flash paper, which is this stuff, and I cut it into strips. So this is like highly flammable paper. It's called flash paper. You can get it from like a magic shop. And then, you'll need a lighter. Ready? So what happens when we ask Jesus to save us? He removes our sin from us. Watch this. As far as the east is from the west, he removes it. See that? That's amazing, isn't it? And that's a great way to explain to kids the power of Christ's blood, that he removes our sins. So flash paper and a pan is all you need. This is an amazing experiment to teach your kids that Jesus can take away their sin, all right? You're gonna love this. So you're gonna need three labels, which last time I very cleverly wrote down, but here I have them for you now. A label for you, a label for sin, and a label for Jesus. And what you're gonna do is you are going to label three separate jars. what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay put water in the U jar. Just plain old water. I have some fancy bottled water, but you can use whatever you want. Just like that. Don't need to fill the entire gallon, the entire vase, but we got it covered. Next up, the sin jar. For the sin jar, we're gonna use the iodine. And we're gonna put a bunch of iodine in here. Now be careful, this will stain. And we're gonna fill, we're gonna get lots of good stuff in there. The goal is obviously to make the water black. And add, don't add bleach, add water. Perfect. So the second jug, we have iodine and water. For the third one, for Jesus, we're gonna use the bleach. Now I suggest you add a fair amount of bleach here. It works better if you do. Just be careful of your clothes. And of course it's gonna smell, but it's worth it. So to the bleach, add some water. Now, depending on how much bleach you add, you might get a little bit of green action versus clear water. The goal is to make these look pretty similar, but what you can always do is adjust the amount of bleach to get your desired color. So here's how the object lesson goes. When you and I were born, we were born with sin. We cried, we misbehave, we disobey our parents, and all of that is sin. And sin doesn't actually make your heart black, but it does separate you from God. And there is no way for you to get to heaven with sin in your heart. And here's the bad thing. Once you've done one thing wrong, you have sin. And no matter how hard you try, you can even pour this back in here. You can't get rid of the sin. And I don't know about you, but I've sinned. All my friends have sinned. In fact, the Bible says that everyone has sinned. But you know why they call the Bible the gospel? Because the gospel means good news. And here's the good news, that one day, several thousand years ago, Jesus came into the world. And he came into the world on a rescue mission. You guessed it, to rescue us from sin. And how did he do that? By taking all of our sin onto himself. And he did this by dying on the cross. He took all of our sin. But you see, sin, unlike with us, has no power over Jesus. He died on the cross and took away our sin. And then he gives us a new heart that's clean so that when we die, we can go to heaven. See, this is not because of we tried really hard and we made it. It's all because of what Jesus did. And so now, even if you do something wrong in the future, guess what? Jesus paid for that too. So when you accept Jesus in your heart, he washes away your sin. 
and promises you heaven. And even if you do something wrong after you become a Christian, Jesus' power saves you from your sin. The sin you do today and the sin you do tomorrow so that you can go to heaven. And that is the good news. I told you that was an awesome one. Now listen, you're gonna have to practice a little bit probably to get it really smooth. But once you do it, I promise kids, kids will love, love it. it. I, remember I remember the, the first, first time, time I did this, the kids wanted to see it again. It's such a cool illustration. I encourage you to try it. It'll take a little setup. It'll take a little work, but it is totally worth it. All right, all you need is iodine, water, bleach, some clear jugs, labels, and a little practice. All right, I want you to do it. Here's another great way to describe sin as an object lesson for your kids. This one's called Washing Away Sin. The download is available in the link below in the description, but let me show you how it works. You're gonna need a couple things. First of all, you're gonna need a tin or a container with water. It doesn't have to be tin. In fact, it's probably better if it's clear so your kids can see it. But this is what I had around the house, a foil tin. Pro tip, it's great for grilling because you can throw it away when you're done, easy cleanup. But that's besides the point. So you're gonna need a tin filled with some water. You're gonna need a permanent marker. Very important that it's permanent. You're also gonna need, again, very important, washable markers. And of course, some paper towel. So let's begin. Let's set this aside for now. And we're gonna tear off two connected pieces of paper towel. So it's perforated right here, so I could tear it, but two connected pieces, or I suppose you could just fold them in half, either way. And we're gonna draw a heart on both pieces of paper. So let's draw a heart. Let's see how good of a heart I can draw. Okay, here we go. Look at that. We're clear. So there's side one. See if it bled through. Not really. Let me make a little extra note there. Note there. There we go. All right. Like this. Like this. Like that. And this side's not clear at all. I should have done it the opposite way. I'm realizing that now. So I would suggest when you do it, do the inside heart first. But let's see what we got here. We got one heart and we got two heart. That should work great. So now we're done with the permanent marker. So obviously for the object lesson, this will be your heart, my heart. We got a heart here, right? We're gonna take washable markers and let's take black. And we are going to color the inside heart full of sin. So when you do this object lesson, this obviously will be all of the wrong stuff we do. When we disobey God, we sin, right? Our heart is full of sin. Again, with a washable marker. Now, watch this. So. We begin, right, with a heart. This is our heart, this is my heart, this is your heart. And from the moment we're born, we disobey God. We sin, and our heart is full of sin. And a heart full of sin, not only does it not please God, but we don't have a future. We are guaranteed to die forever when we die on this earth with a heart full of sin. So we need a savior. And so with a heart full of sin, when we ask Jesus, to save us from our sin. Revelation 1.5 says, He is the one who loves us, who made us free from our sins. So you take a heart full of sin and you put it in the water and watch what happens. All of the sin is washed away. Totally and completely clean. Not because of what we did, but because of what Jesus did. Isn't that a great object lesson? It's simple, it's fun. You can have the kids do it, it's perfectly safe. But it teaches the kids that Jesus washes away their sin if they'll just ask. I hope you loved each and every one of those. I think they're all fantastic and unique ways to explain sin to even the most rowdy boys in your class. If you want the entire list, plus a couple other great object lessons, don't forget my free download. You can get it in the link below. It is full of great object lessons. All right, I'm Nathan from betterbibleteachers.com and I'll see you soon.